A 31-year-old Johannesburg-based entrepreneur has sold out his entire range of luxury leather bags, all of this after tweeting about it online. Described as a fusion of African luxury and Scandinavian design elements, Inga Kubuke, his line of leather goods earned him recognition in Forbes' top 30 Africans under 30 in 2016. And having also spoken at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, Inga is a bra Inga Atelier's brand is carried by multiple international dignitaries. Let's unpack the spirit of entrepreneurship now with Inga uh, thank you so much for joining us, Inga. Thank, oh, thank you. you so much. Appreciate it's it. Good to have me here. Thank so you. So you decide to go into a leather goods luxury market. Absolutely. Why? Uh, for me, it's, it's, it's for one reason. I, I saw an opportunity. There's a lot of uh, growth in luxury brands, and there's, there's so much emerging um, black middle class in South Africa and middle mm. class at large and in Africa at large. So I didn't see why not uh, we, we, we're not making uh, luxury leather goods, but we, we're also one of the biggest consumers. So I saw an opportunity. Sure. They're like, why don't you make our own to sell to our own people and also like get to take it outside the country? Yeah. Well. That was the vision. And so the all the products high. made in South Africa then? Absolutely. Everything is made in South Africa, yeah. Sure. Yeah. How difficult is it then making sure that they're the right quality or the quality you want, the quality you need? How do you then tell the rest of the world about it as well? you know and and going just beyond the likes of instagram or twitter <laughs> as has certainly helped you thus far yeah honestly uh, getting the quality right it's it's a, it's one of the hardest things you know because when you say luxury it must mean what it says yes. you know because and not it, just by price tag right exactly. so it can't just be the price no tag no no, no. there's a lot of things that go into it you know attention to detail quality mm. the finish the craftsmanship behind that's what makes a product luxury and yeah. this is what i'm trying to achieve uh within uh, the first uh, few years that I've been doing this, uh, yeah. this sort So of how stuff, did you yeah. get to sort of measure things like the grain or the grade or, you know, making sure that the leather hide was actually the right one for you in order to become luxury? Or was that something that you had to sort of study? Was that something you had to get, you know, market knowledge of beforehand before you got into it? Yeah, quite frankly, I, I, I studied industrial design initially, okay. you know, which is a study of uh, product, you know. So then in industrial, we also learn about different materials and uh, different types of finishes and, and so forth. And uh, being the person that uh, I've always wanted to get into this business, I had to mm. like do an extensive research on how to get uh, th this sort of uh, luxury level and level of craftsmanship, which is yeah. the most important thing. Yeah, uh, you, we're just getting some of the images of some of the other work. And of course, we do have some of it here as well. Getting into this space then is saying to people, you can trust my brand. Absolutely. How do you do that? Uh, I think the brand uh, on its own, uh, it, it tells a story, you know. Uh, I think this is uh, quite, uh, quite good work. Uh, yeah. We get that a lot from, from a lot of people saying that, uh, this is probably made in Italy or something. No, 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 no. Actually, yeah. this is made in South Africa. And they always think Inga, then Atelier. Where is this brand from? <laughs> yes, yes. And then we tell the people it's from South Africa. Really? And when I'm at the uh, store sometimes in High Park and then just go like, are you sure? Like, you're Inga? I'm like, yes, I'm Inga. And then I need to verify with my <laughs> yeah. shop assistant. That Why I Atelier? Inga. Why? What, is that, what does that actually entail? It, it means a studio or workshop oh, okay. uh, in French, basically. So yeah. Mar now why would you go French on the name when we're saying everything else is South African? No, no, it's Inga. Okay. I'm Inga. Yes. Then Atelier. So it's Inga's Atelier, basically, in other words. Inga Atelier in French. Yeah. So Inga Studio or Inga's Workshop. Look at you looking all fancy. <laughs> hey? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So now it's about distribution, yeah. right? So you need to try and stay be or get beyond Johannesburg. How do you get that right? So we've got a very dynamic uh, online store. Uh, which is doing very well. Uh, we ship uh, both locally and abroad. Mm. Uh, it's mostly doing uh, very much uh, well abroad, actually. So we okay. ship to New York, London, Japan, you know, which is very good because they love the story, they love the level of craftsmanship, actually, that we, we, we've, we've sort of come up with the African story to our products and, fuse, and, and the fusion of that uh, story, yeah. basically. So are you feeling like there's a recession at all? <laughs> Ooh, uh, there is. Uh, locally, yeah, there is. Uh, people are, uh, are sort of holding on to money, honestly. You know, yeah. like we're surviving at large by um, uh, with the big corporates and uh, the commissions that we, we do for a lot of brands. But yeah. retail for the last uh, three, four months has not been uh, so good. Not yeah. just ourselves, just generally everyone is just crying and struggling, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit tough at the moment, mm. but uh, we sold it on. That's what how, how do you manage the need then for, for constant business? 
with the need to do the contract work and find new clients, find new customers who aren't necessarily just individuals like myself or any of the crew here, but perhaps companies as well. Are you getting that coming through as well into the business? Yeah, yeah absolutely. We, we do quite a, quite, a, quite a lot of stuff. If you look at the stuff that we, we have now, we've done stuff uh, for Glenfiddich, yeah. do stuff for the African Union, uh, we do stuff for... The for, president of the country, <laughs> mind you. Yeah, right? we do stuff, you know, like we, we get these sort of commissions, you know, from uh, for yeah. Engine as well. We do stuff for okay. quite, quite a lot of these guys in volumes, you know, yeah. which is uh, which is really amazing, you know, just to, to cushion, you know, the retail side of things as well. Sure. So that's going What's very next? well. What's next? Jeez, what's next uh, will be announced in the next month. Okay. Uh, it's something okay. big that has never uh, happened uh, with this uh, particular... A brand, uh, so we've partnered up with a brand, you know, in, in a distribution deal. Yeah. Uh, together, and we're going to be the first. African so certainly, brand. then spreading your brand even even across further countries. Yeah, absolutely, across Africa, actually, like on via their online store because sure. they only have stores in Namibia, South Africa, and and that's about it. You yeah. Know? So, but there's 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 an, a big opportunity for us there. So we're very excited about it. Yeah, it's a life changing. Ha so. Have you have you found that perhaps it's very intensive when it comes to capital? Has that been perhaps a big issue for you, or has it been a case of? finding the right customers to plug into your business and believe in it, and then that way you're able to take it forward. Yeah. For me, it's always been all right. It's because we've got a product. We don't need capital necessarily. We need a customer to buy so that we put back to the business. Yes. That's, all we, that's all we've needed. But there comes a time where we need, like, well, well need a capital to expand now, like uh, further developments and maybe if we're not getting to shoes or whatever the case is. But so far, we haven't really necessarily needed capital yeah. because it's a... It's a consumer a business, you know, like sort of a model sure. that, uh, that we have at this point, yeah. Taken. Um, so anyway, Inga, thank you so much. Fantastic. We'll see you soon. Thank uh, you. This one is gone. <laughs> All the best of luck with your business, and we'll hopefully chat to you again soon. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on Cheers, the show. Cheers, man.